the end of Go. This is the team that knocked them out of Cologne, keep in mind, right? Right in that uh, end of the group, Na'Vi were able to just send them packing. Looking to do the same in this qualification match. Obviously, both teams in the playoffs, but why not go a bit further? Skip a stage. I mean, you guys have been in the last, what, four playoffs for Pro League. This would be your fifth in a row. Always yeah. in the first round, never further. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Guess what our goal is just for this one. <laughs> win a match in the yeah, playoffs. Yeah. It's a good start. It's definitely a good start. And Faces want to win a map right now. Four rounds back on Anubis. They go outside. Yeah, you got that P250 searching. Imer Heaven going to be trying to take those pot shots held by that P250. Bit. Let's see how deep of a clear he goes for here because Rob's he's oh, oh, no. again. oh again the side of the head. Man. Rob's got nothing to report. Oh, he didn't even go for it. Does now. Gets him to 3 HP, bit. Props doesn't get this kill twist, it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, Carrigan's got it though. He's coming in on the backstab. Would love to go heaven, but it, Rob's is calling. I've got this guy trapped. Wait, he can't have jumped out. He didn't go down the railing. It. He can only be in one position right now. How good How good are the comms for phase? Carrigan clearing, and he'll get there just in time. Three on four. A path to B opened up, but Na'Vi have double dropped vent. Oh, They're yeah. hearing that. Rops is waiting for the sound. <laughs> well, non-verbal communication. <laughs> 20 seconds. What do you do? Their hot do? roof, their heaven, their door. Good luck. Oh, this is going to end in disaster. Alexi B, here's the door open. It says, no, actually, Rops, you will not be leaving the squeaky door. Oh, I'm mad. I'm so mad if I'm locked out like that. Rops, finally, no allowed to exit. It. They're going to go for the plant. Ah! One shot, round one, just like that. Kills him. As well. That was off kills. That wasn't off time. He killed him on the ladder. <laughs> we'll see that one again. He could have hid. He could have. He could have no, tapped no, out. No, not, not, not simple. simple. Well. No, he had to get the ladder kill. <laughs> they literally didn't win that round to the clock. Twist. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely punching air right now. This. Three, two, two one. one. What? <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 of course. No, no, that makes sense. Why yeah, would he reach into that? He knows he's power, won. So it looks like CS2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Well, it started off well as well for Na'Vi. This round, no different. Simple does look and sound reinvigorated. You know, initially with the debut internationally, I was a little worried for Na'Vi, but... Uh, it's 1-1-1 Deegan is going to be looking... Then they can have a chance of winning this round. Carrigan, has he got the stones? Oh! All the ding. Oh, body shots! So close. But he's only one health himself. <gasps> Everything's fine. No, no, it's, no not. it's not. No, it's not. Rops is taking him down now Might that. Be. MP9 falls into enemy hands, and Rops is starting to force the issue. It's a duel with JL. And wow, Ooh. Rob, he's sharp, but that helmet keeps JL alive and kicking on 10 HP. Look how low they are. Brokey, he doesn't know just how attainable this 1v3 really is. He's got the bomb, admittedly no Kev, and only three bullets in the dig. Oh, he has got... No, it's the bomb, excuse me. Yeah. Already a really, really good end seeker from... Or like a good dig around from face. Like, people don't usually pay attention to this, but like just getting two or three kills in these rounds where you don't invest almost anything is really, really important for the rest of the game because next time that you have a full buy round, you can actually like break their money in the first round and then you have like a second round to build up more momentum. It actually makes a huge difference. So these two kills already is super nice. So <laughs> if we're getting one more and it's going to be really good for the rest of the game for them. Right, yeah, for that longevity. It's something that phase we always talk about doing very well, right? The individuals yeah. with Deegs, it's just, it's, it's, it's like a meme at this point. Like you just say, <laughs> oh, well, they've bought Deegs and suddenly three people are dead. Everyone's taken the jeweler successfully. But this is a dream start for an RV. Yeah. It has been costly, as you highlighted, that pistol round coming down to a one on, quote unquote, one on one. Oh, really got stuck. Uncomfortable, but once we have those two dink players, they both went back A, played a crossfire, they let Bit drop B. He's the guy with health. JL, so taking a fight. an MP5 enjoyer. It's very hipster. Have you ever dabbled in the MP5? I love you, the MP5. You do? The sound is very satisfying, but it's just oh. as good as great kills for Brokey. Yeah, that's oh. great. Top side taken. That's a quick one. As soon as you get a guy with Kevlar with MP5, it 
You really gotta hit those heads, so it's yeah. gonna feel really bad. So that's like the bad part about it. Simple didn't wait long, did he? Pull up in the tux. <laughs> Got Is he going to go flying up that land out? It's actually bit out. He asked for this. He begged for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a nice minimal XM skin. Do it on the ladder. You won't. Oh, he will. <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> oh, he has. Yeah, already. But round three shotty. I mean, there's no map like Nuke. But there's no chance here for Na'Vi. Oh. You really might. wonder if this was like his game plan coming into the tournament, if he's like doing this in practice, or if he's just like the first game he just bought it randomly, he just started feeling it and he just started buying it. It feels like it could be that that, that kind of like moment. Or, yeah, it could easily be that, but maybe he has to practice it in practice and he actually thinks that it's like better than the open some situations and he just like prefers it because it's not as costly and stuff. I mean, just getting one or two kills and instead of buying the orb, it's just so much better, you know, if he yeah. actually gets the kills, but obviously it makes the round look a bit different. But When I asked him about it uh, in a post-match interview, he was just talking about how there are some angles, it's very map-dependent, but there are some fights that are just favorable to a shotgun in close quarters, and yeah. the money is insane. Now, you have two good shotgun rounds with two to three kills, you've got, like, it's like you've got uh, like that 900 kill reward, yeah. It yeah. goes. Let's see how this fight goes now, as we are into the second attempt from phase to equalize. Done it again, he started lower from ramp. So hoping for vent dive, hoping for secret cross, telling Alexi he can let them down. Starting vent. It's an interesting approach. Yeah. Puts a lot of pressure on Alexi, no, if he's responsible yeah. for yard on his own. I think, they, I think in, they're very prepared for a phase. He like these chaotic situations, and Rops likes his moves to get down vent as well, so he's prepared for that. Ooh, running and gunning, some light damage, a sprinkling, and they get into garage. It's good space for phase. Secret is an option as well. Alexi will keep his eyes on it. Simple wait in secret, and not in a hurry. I mean, they don't know about the shotgun, worth noting. They will Still soon. a surprise to phase. How patient is Alexi? He can't really move. He knows he's surrounded in this position. Phase have control. Simple. Patience pays off. Twist with an AK. The ping looks good. And he finds the headshot. Alexi's still wondering where they've gotten to. They spot him. And a flash to set up his teammate going round the credit card. Rain's got this one in the bag. Five on three. Phase at 25 seconds. Need to split. Awkward for Navi. Communication. Blowing, Carrigan bringing that bomb out towards the squeak side. Oh dear, they don't even know. Oh, they think it's B or they're just giving it up, yeah. Looks like a save. Damn! Pretty nice played from Faze. From, played from Faze to just slow down after the smokes and get into good positions and just wait for them to make mistakes and... I think this this kill was really important because it made I am roots rotate as well because they thought that maybe they were going lower because that was the first point of contact and then yeah really nice play from Rain taking the very unusual way through sandwich there. Yeah right because he the flash implied he was taking where yeah. yeah I was like when the smoke is faded it's not like the most comfortable ways because you're open to main you're open to heaven like going through that you have to have some teammates with you and and he had as well but Alexi didn't know that so yeah it was really nice. Really big plays. Shotgun saved. <laughs> Bit's been sent down into the depths to pick it up, retrieve the XM. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of insight oh, yeah, there. I just heard Robin. So keep your eyes on Rops. See what he's been tasked hold with. Hold radio, I think. Hold radio? Okay, you got it. Is. Rops has spawn. He does have spawn. Okay. And probably go for the right, like going right side on the radio instantly. Have a that's mm. a really good angle if they come any kind of pushes. So long as you're not staring at the wall. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let your teammates die this time. <laughs> Seen enough of that in this game. Door nade, Rob Instant sets right up side. quick, and yeah. you are nailing it right now. Not much to play with other than the save for Na'Vi. Simple gets given a shot. He buys Kevlar. Bit stays Deagle. It's still quite a threatening round. Yeah. Yeah. Bit back garage, putting or Ima rather, putting that rifle to use. 
conceding outside control face can cross lower but the heavy lobby and that rifle does reap its reward the luck outside of rain gone oh my goodness jl throwing himself into the door but it does work doesn't it he surely can't survive now needs support from the door side it's simple oh jumps the gun and carrigan put down to eight the shotgun pallets don't quite connect ema will back up here from the garage him and alexi with a quick reposition to a will win this round surely carrigan going all the way around the world but no health to do this, and no bomb either. That was a really nice rotation from Ima there, going from garage all the way up, and then gets a, another kill as well. How how valuable is our uh, player names in positions? Right, you you know you're Ima there, you kill Rain outside. You know that's probably the solo outside player. You can just rotate up quick. You know how how much do tendencies of teams help you when you see names in kill feeds? I think it it helps a lot, especially on, I mean on the buy rounds for sure. I think on these rounds it's a bit harder because. When you got those saved M4s, they're more likely to go for the plays, and such when Immer plays inside, it's maybe not the place he wants to make the play, he's more outside, so I think it's definitely harder for them to react, but he did a really good job there just to instantly rotate to inside when he felt they were going to react there. Also, Immer seeing Rain, that's like you're just instantly going to rotate, because yeah. if, if he kills someone else, he would definitely like, he might rotate as well, but he would definitely say like to his team, like, be ready for Rain as well outside, because he's, out he's the outside guy, so like, paying attention to the names makes a really, really big difference. Uh, like, in general all around so and, and that's a conversation we we're having like at the end of last season do you feel like the idea of positionless cs could be viable to avoid that problem or do you think that would create new problems in having to learn so many positions and be more diverse and therefore you know m master of nothing essentially at that like point. some teams definitely played like try to mask around us i know kerrigan has we when he was playing in mouse i think we played them in those two like a long time ago and they just completely fucked us over by doing that like he they just played off spawns and yeah. you never knew who was so we just called the names like that's a b guy or whatever and it just like then we run, then we just then we react, we, we like try to react with the information and then we just always run into another guy and it was just completely like destroying us so i think it's easy in some maps but some maps it's just like yeah like you said you have to like learn the positions and you have you need to have like very versatile players oh, who can do like was, almost anything this was looking like they were backing away to save and now they've killed two and probably give it a good shake brokey resetting secret that's crazy. Twist can't flank heaven. Yeah, he has to wait lobby and then go back in late. Twist is just playing to live to give Brokey that time. And this is a lovely flank yeah. timing. Navi are going yeah, for this it. Yeah, this flank, if you get the time, this is going to win the round every single time. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. Easy kill. And he can even jump the gun. Twist is not known about simple on the clock. <gasps> They're giving away kills right now. Will they live to regret it? No. Twist backstabs and saves the day for FaZe. I love that reset. High risk, high reward. Yeah. I would like to see a little bit of more trigger discipline from Brokey. Like, uh, when you have that flank, it's just, you should just play the time and just walk. But sometimes, of course, it gets to you, you just want get to the, get the safe kill, but... Could have been two. Just, yeah, it was really nice rotation, yeah. yeah. And you know where the bomb is, it's planted for you. Yeah. See that. But yeah, I mean, FaZe were, looked like they were just hunting at that point. Four on two, Na'Vi fall out of heaven, and two kills get given in Yard. So, almost went very wrong, but this T-side's picking up. in speed as well. He's making no secret of his cross. <laughs> they might double back on this. Rops is lining up. What's this? Maybe an under heaven? Yeah. Locker smoke? Locker. Yeah, looks like it. So do they come back up from secret? Rain is going Thanks. a bit Got further, a forcing the smoke. Position. No, he has our blood. <laughs> Got any more of those twists? Ooh, does tack up one in the shoulder a bit on that heaven fight. FaZe taking this yard space and it makes it so uncomfortable for the CTs now. JL, he's well aware that there's question marks as to where they can be getting off to. Rain's still down low. The vent's going to be occupied. Simple Molotov back. Oh, it's going to spread. Yeah, gets away. But Rain might overlook this position. They're pushing him. Simple forced off. Doors open. There's Make Navi. Sure Surely starting to panic. And Imer, he's being patient about this. It's going to work. Not ready. And a rifle given over. Four on four. Oh. JL hits a cracking headshot. Now they're spamming him on the vents, trying to bail him out. Up the ladder was one. Imer trying to help. But the top side's lost. Faye should get that bomb down. Yet yeah. planted now. Brokey gets it in. Another round to throw away here for Na'Vi with no kits, no position. They don't want to risk it. 
It's a really nice round from FaZe overall. Like the control they got, secret control, and then took all of, all of Garage and Under Heaven. It's just so uncomfortable for the CTs. And I mean, they just had to sit and wait and hope they hit some shots, which which they did. But ultimately, they had to gamble somewhere, and they they chose the wrong one. So. Yeah, it's so nice when you like slow it down. And you have a lot of control. You can you have so many options. Like you can like if let's say the rain cleared all of our, like under and it was fully clear, they had the option to go down vents with him, and they have like different things they can do, and it just makes the round like really you know hard to lose because even if they do a stack, you can always have like a second option to group up with the other guys and have a guys like searching for information. So that, I think that was what, what was rain was doing there was like kind of checking for Loa to see any presence, and then yeah, kind of like call his team to where they should go, and they had the option to go both both A and B. So yeah, super nice play. Na'Vi a bit mixed and matched on the money so far. They've had these weird half buys, these shotgun saves. This will be another one of them. Two pistols, round three rifles, and a breather called by Blade as FaZe take the lead back. Looking like a strong start already. Money's really bad for Na'Vi, so looking like a... I mean, obviously, Simple still got the orb, they got a couple of rifles, but... You never know what can happen in this round. I think if they can convert this phase, then they're looking like a really strong half, so. Simple's orb, though. You've got to get past that. But if you know that gonna, your enemy team's going to be smoking yard when they go yard, when you're probably more than likely to take it somewhere else, aren't you? Where's that orb going to be sent? Let's have a look. Simple. Off to ramp. Bad spawn as well. Worst spawn. Can't even yeah. force a pick. Just has to be patient. Might get a bit of an orping head to head. Brokey's been tasked with it early. Just holding for the push. Simple alone as well. He wants to give them control and fall back after a shock. Jail's already lower. FaZe might come his way, give him what he wants. An opening kill would be massive. And even a rifle slipping in. Simple hits his. It's awkward now. Brokey tried to trade, but Bit was already out. Got there just in time. Five on three. This was meant to be a throwaway round for Na'Vi, but they're making the most of it. Even finding Rops in the door. And even hits that smooth silo Ooh. jump. Even the pistol what? getting involved. This is dead in the water. You're not ready for that, or at least I think. And Twist still recovers, but 1v5, I ain't buying. Not sure if they threw the flashes too deep or what happened on ramp. Yeah, that flash was really deep, it looked like. Yeah, simple just wasn't, wasn't blind sense. in that one position that you actually wanted to blind, so. <laughs> yeah. I best stop from face. I think actually, I think the idea was fine. Like they just all chilled and didn't really just wait for some aggression, which is fine. And then uh, they kind of worked where they had broke it to like help to cover the op. And uh, I think it was all fine. It was just the flashes didn't take the angle, which makes it the whole thing just yeah. scramble, you know. So and Imer managing to just get into the fight. Yeah. Cool. Big win. That is a big yeah, win. I mean, yeah, you were just talking now. about Imezi. If Faze had won that, they could have started to run away with a half. Instead, now if you say no. Yeah, be competitive. Now they're back on a really scrappy buy now phase if they choose to buy here, but yeah. They are going for it. Two Lils, uh, one Tech 9. Phase on borrowed time here on the T side. Probably have to do something direct here with the limited util and, and weaponry, so. See what they go for. Looks like they want to test ramp again here, which I guess is not a bad call. They probably feel like Simple's not going to go there again uh, after the save to, uh, or the previous round. So you just have to get through this. Fast smoke wall and rain is already down. Seeker, this is really big. If they get, if they just get ramped now, ramp now, this is going to be a one round unless uh, Bit gets two kills here. I do like the heroic type uh, ramp take. Oh, it's only Tech oh, Nine. Rain's going to struggle. Bit's not exactly being pressured. He has room to fall back. Simple also drops down the vent. They know there's 2B at least and a ramp player. Yeah, Bit staying alive here is really huge for them. Like, makes a whole difference in this round. No nice looking. play from Carrigan. No though. one's He's looking. taking the space. That's, That's big. Massive frag and one underneath him as well. Simple on that vent. He's got to oh. worry about two different angles. He's flashed off. Need a oh, shot. No, oh, Carrigan not doesn't again. get there. It's simple. He racks up the double. Two on two now emerges. It's Twist that tries to the plant, but Rops catches an aggressor. A bit down on the rotation. They know where Alexi is as well. Uncomfortable for the CT side. The nade might soften him up, but still a very difficult one versus two for Alexi. 
Now he tags him up. Options really just <laughs> running out of health, running out of chances. And it seems like FaZe have recovered. Nice work for the fifth round of the game. Good mid round there for FaZe. Four and five losing their Lurk Yard and or down Secret and somehow Carrigan gets Hell Control. This is so nice the way FaZe playing with like multiple Lurks. They just give up so many, like they have so many options to fall back on even though the main plan goes wrong. There's Rain dying there and they don't really get a kill on Ram. Like Carrigan just pulls the whole, the whole round back getting that Lurk. So yeah, really, really nice plates. Only Simple could get two in that position as well. Flashed off the first time, being split from Heaven and Hut. Yeah. Yanks two out with him, but FaZe convert. And the low money rounds are coming through for both teams right now. Whoa, this is a real like animated blade, is it not? He clearly had like, it'd be, so something had been Plan. on his mind. He wanted to get it out. <laughs> yeah. Timeout now elapsed. We are back into the action. Round 10, second map, second game of our last day of Group C. This is a battle for the quarterfinals. Another best of three coming up after this one as we lock in that final spot. 9Z going to be taking them down on the Cyclone. Yeah, what do you make of Cyclone? That was a, a shock to you see them play so well. It was your easier game uh, inside of this group, but otherwise they've been pretty impressive. Yeah, no, I think playing them as well, like... Uh... I think they're like really well drilled as well. Like a lot of their executes and how they take space was like really methodical. And I think when we played them on, I think it was Inferno, right? I think they used their flashes really well on their Molotovs and like they did a really good job taking space and stuff and made it uncomfortable for us, especially on Inferno at least. So I think they've uh, definitely been a surprise for us. Obviously, like I say, it was one of our easier games, but I think like they did a really good job when we played against them. It was uh, from looking at their demos to them playing them, was, they felt like a, a bit of a different story. Like they were definitely sharp as well. Yeah, individuals yeah. like Jam Young really yeah. impressed me yesterday as well. Uh, this is a hard clear. Ooh, dark. Ooh. Oh, we saw Alexi saw it. Yeah, yeah, Alexi should have won here. But they saw as well. Oh, yeah. no. Dead. Yeah. Owned. They got the advantage now. Simple on that top side. Oh, oh flash off. He's so blind. That's insane. Great flash. Couldn't have gone better. Couldn't react to that either. And once again, FaZe have Heaven. And they have the round more than likely. Ima behind the door smoke. No bullets tag him, they still don't know, but lobby control is the only place Na'Vi could be right now. FaZe realize that, they molly the hut, they plant, and so six rounds makes its way on this T side. Might just uh, be able to stabilize a bit now, I think. I think this is honestly how Anubis could have gone in those early rounds if uh, if FaZe could have won a couple of those early aggressions and stuff with like stabilizing the money, but obviously didn't go their way, and then now this is kind of how it's been really back and forth, and now FaZe have finally got the couple rounds in a row, and hopefully for them could uh, get a few more rounds in a row because they got the saved AK and M4, which is, as we've seen already, still hard to, to win the round. Yeah, right. Navi have done it once. Can they do it again? Yeah. And what can we expect from FaZe's CT side? Obviously, you guys played them. You had a you know, hard time there on your t half. What, uh, what do FaZe do right? Uh, that's right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a rough time. I think the I think they're just really good at you know at mixing up. I think Rops is, is a really really great ram player. He's he likes to move around and even though he, most ram players are just ah, I'm just gonna hold ram the whole game. But Rops is like he likes to just go some random place and just give up ram sometimes. Maybe force Broker to go there sometimes. And he's just a like a really big joker player in a lot of like so those mid round situations where you think you killed the yard player like you killed Rain and then all of a sudden Rops is hiding in the warehouse for some reason and then like he pulls around back. So yeah, like those kind of like. Uh, plays that he's doing makes a really big difference and if he's the right place at the right time. Rob's yeah, tried to go all. vent, I think he, he missed fumbled the vent. Yeah. 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 Still gonna make it though, I think. Oh, but the molly, the molly tags him, I think they realize. Unless they think that was them. I think it was Jail who got tagged maybe? Yeah, the molly. I think so. Rob's, there no, was a molly did. down vent. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got hit for six, bit bites back on Brokey and Na'Vi drop ramp, does that get heard as well? Because lurking out is Carrigan looking for a gap. If he goes heaven again, I mean, there's no one there. He's had so much real estate on this T side, has the captain. He will hunt this lower kill. Rops just needs to live. This is surely a power position from Rops now. Carrigan's going up. Rops may not even matter. Carrigan searching into the heavens. Going up top hurt. This is two players not looking at him. Does he have the discipline? Yeah, I like he that. has the trigger discipline. One Doesn't down. Know. Doesn't know about the second. They're coming from behind. <laughs> oh, oh no! Caught by bit. Exposed. Nice from Rops. Catch is simple on the transition. Oh. 
Perhaps Rops has got more for us. 40 seconds, the bomb lost towards the A site. Got to fight his way back in. Last seen lower. Not that many options as to where he can be coming from. Secret one of them. And they're not going to give him anything here. Crossfire is so impossible to break. Look at that. You're not picking up that bomb. No time as well. Yeah. Can't even like work his magic, you know, go for a procedural clear into the site. Hema just saves it, man, by finding rain in main. Bomb loose. And that's FaZe again having control on Heaven and Lower at the same time, both getting kills. And still Na'Vi managed to squeeze around out. It comes down to Carrigan not catching Bit in Hut. He tried to look for two. He tried to play t uh, Trigger Discipline, but Bit was just in cover. Yeah, it's really, like, important saves Na'Vi is pulling through, because, like, they have... I think they have two saves the last round, and the hero weapons get the opening kills, and the same thing happened before, and it just makes the whole difference because they just can't seem to break them like fully. They always have like one or two guns they have to deal with, and those guns just seem to find the impact all the time, and just makes the whole difference for like Navi having a chance to decide, which makes a really big difference, right? So huge, yeah. yeah. The Ooh. impact of saving sometimes. What's going on here? Does someone miss a smoke? Forty smokes expended, Ooh. and yeah. bit. Collect as easy as that. Simple, can't believe his luck as Robs comes strafing out of the smoke, plucks him from the air, and simple. He's ready for more. Slips off of the railing as he does try and take another pot shot. Alexi gives it up. A three versus five now four. Maybe Rain and well, Simple's got twist to deal with as well. Bits rotated through. Bit down to Brokey. Maybe this is a two on two. The phase they still have a voice in. Simple oh, sinks low. Yeah. Yeah. oh, what? And they're chasing from below, but shot in the back again. Outdoor comes JL. What was that? Simple sticks around forever. That was a lot of fights <laughs> that round. You would never expect an orbiter to just sit in that position, just waiting for everyone With to come down. With a USP. Down, yeah. Yeah. Not even like a P250. Man's just making it work on the standard starter pistol. Definitely think he thought he was low. That's right. why he put the, took the pistol out, which well, it could have ended up really bad, you know. Like, but luckily he just <laughs> he gets the head, so that's fine. <laughs> and that was one of those weird rounds as well, though. There you got you got bit going back uh, of garage as well, who's normally the ramp player, and forced him into reacting ramp where Simple's actually just waiting for them as well. Oh, so that's a good point. Yeah. Like bits outside, let's go. Then yeah. Simple immediately just snipes the uh, strafe of Robs. Simple's on one. Na'Vi, they've recovered this half. And what Roy was saying as well, you know, about these two rounds where it's two saved guns and pistols, both of them going Na'Vi's way, it's going to start taking the wind out of Phase's sails. Yeah. Five alive now really, like, after losing even, this one, you know. Yeah, even with those rounds, like the break rounds, they'd have like a really good chance of getting like two or three consecutive rounds against like low buys, but they just always had a guns to deal, to deal with, which just makes it so much harder to call and makes it so annoying because you just know those guns are going to go for hero plays and take fights. And I mean, sometimes as a caller, it's, it's, it's tough to, to like make the right call, right? Like you have to just be, your individuals have to be ready for almost anything and win those fights. So yeah, really great job by Navi here taking, getting these rounds back because I think the T-side looks very nice for FaZe actually. It's a battle of the Titans at the top of the group. FaZe, despite having what looks like a, a, a good T-side, Navi are going to be leaving with the lead unless they can kick up a fuss here. It's AKs still out. Galil for Brokey. And we get ready for round 14. What's the setup? Once the game plan, Carrigan got to call all the shots here, try and get themselves that equalizer. It's already a good T Hall, could have been more. And simple going for the aggressive orb line yard. Actually be in support. Wall of smoke's gonna be thrown out by Brokey. Simple ahead of them though, and that's the oh, info. No. Nice oh, work. What a peak. Simple couldn't adjust in time, Rain. Elevates himself up on the box for that peak with that info and a nice opening kill. They should be able to convert this now. Na'Vi. <gasps> what? Claw it back. Just like that. Smoke spam. Imet calls it four on four. And Lexi's still back garage as well. So they've got more to deal with if they want to use these smokes. Carrigan's in no hurry. He's going to try and lurk main. Alexi's waiting. He's been in this position before, but Carrigan, unbeknownst to him, inside of the smoke. Both players missing each other. This A split is not even happening. They're going out ramp instead. They know Simple's dead. It's only Bits Rifle. I say only, 
Oh, he comes down. Oh, he's ready for it. Oh, no. Ready no, Emma's got an across. There's no oh, way. Oh, dear. It's dead. They're it's playing done. beautiful Counter-Strike. And they don't jump that flank either. Another block at 40 seconds. And Ema just waits. Are you clearing this? No, you're not. Back to ramp. Bits left. He's edged down B, but with this much time on the yeah, clock, that's fine. That's you're fine. not fearing yeah, the fine. heaven play. It's easy to get a really good position lower where you can at least get one kill. Like, they have to clear so many things, and I don't think FaZe has barely any nades left. They have maybe a molly for Shadow, that's it. And do they have time to throw it, or do they lob it deep in window? Sends it out. It's nice. It's not nice. Bit still has room. Cover behind the fire. He needs one though, and he can't find it. Ten seconds on the clock. Alexi can win this round with a kill in the right place. The double face. Brokey trades. Bomb getting stuck. Great cover for Brokey. And Ema now in the clutch. Oh. It's quick. Is it clean? Twist up close. Repositions to dark, and Ema tries to sniff him out. Astralis plant, but he swaps sides of the site. Ema, does he read this well? This is a game of brains, and Ema finds oh. the flick in time. Na'Vi can do no wrong. God, I mean, yeah. That's I should exactly never have been so close, to be honest. <laughs> Three guys rushing lower, and the unit, I even think they have early information because they just start running, and they are almost had like two rotations down, and Bit had a really good position, and they failed the molly. Like, it's, yeah. It was a super nice round there from Ima, well, Na'Vi overall. I think one simple died outside, I think they kind of knew they needed to do, do something. And then you see Ima, like, moving towards the outside position, trying to get that kill back and spamming the smokes and baiting a little bit for Alexi to try and make the next move and gets that kill for the smoke and then rotates instantly back into Hut to gain that yeah. space into Lobby as well. He's done a really yeah. good job rotating around there. He's been so active, hasn't he? Even that round that he starts back garage, gets a kill, ends up in heaven, back A site. He's just been everywhere phase it's a good half but it feels like it could have been, been so more. much more yeah yeah for sure good to see Emma having a good game as well it's yeah. uh it's been a tough uh integration process for Emma after flying so yeah. high one of the highest rated players at the major uh in paris and did, you, did you guys run into Emma and jl obviously in apex and game of legion much at the major i can't remember exactly your matchups did did they stick out to you when they were on their previous teams um i mean I've played against game, uh, like when Imma played for Game Legion quite a few times in previous teams anyway, and then he's always been a really strong player and like like shown here, really active and Ooh, able this to is do a lot of uh, moves. They just go straight, pop, yeah. top, pop. Imma, still a problem, still a nuisance. Na'Vi, a flurry wow. of four. And just like that, nine. Yeah, he's pretty good. Locked yeah. in. <laughs> as easy as that. Even after really finding good. the opening. I think I was in jail, I think. First time I noticed him, like, really was in mad lines. I think I faced him, and he had, like, a round on the ground where, like, that was back when he, he was very, like, new and had been playing in any good teams, I think. And then he had a round on the ground. I was like, okay, that guy's actually, like, pretty good. So then <laughs> suddenly, like, a few months after, he just, you know, just going up high. So, yeah. Yeah. Amazing stuff and amazing scenes for Na'Vi fans. They're 1-0 up in the series and 9-6 up here on FaZe's pick. Does it all end here?
Two ESL Pro League playoff teams in the server and two ESL Pro League playoff players in the cast. We got Mezzi and Roy from Fnatic fame coming into map two of Na'Vi versus FaZe. And it's all on the line right now. FaZe starts strong on the T side of their map pick, but Na'Vi recover very well. And a fantastic map out of Ema on this CT side. Can Na'Vi keep it up? Can they close it in two? Yeah, for sure. I think they can. I think it was a really frustrating half a phase, so they're going to... I mean, they're the kings of bouncing back and resetting, but it's going to be tough. I think they could have definitely got a lot more in that first half. Yeah. But FaZe need this pistol, yeah, for sure. It's a classic. They need this pistol, that's going to feel rough. Dropping all of the casting cliches, Roy, I'm proud of yep. you. <laughs> <laughs> Trained him <them> well. <laughs> An important pistol here. They all are. Oh, oh, oh yes, please. More of that, Rocks. Flash comes through to take the space. They're out A. They are out A, but for how long? Look at this oh. from Twist. Bomb down, scatters to the floor, and just like that, the That's cleanest pistol, pistol you yep. could ask for. 500 HP for FaZe at the end of that one. I don't think Simple's going to be happy with that one. I think Bit was blocking him. He's trying to go, yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not that happy. <laughs> 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 Nothing worse than that. Good spot, good spot. And yeah, you can see immediately <laughs> buys himself a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Only simple. I mean, he does that tilted or not, though. And then yeah. he's going to ask for a key link next round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wanted to buy one. And Alexi will give it. Yeah. Well, I think that's just part of the uh, part of the, the package when yeah. you uh, you play with the goat. And watch him get a extra privileges. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> He's going for it. He's He'll on the war path He'll right now. It. Yeah. Oh, it's not far oh. off. But there he goes. Rain puts him on his double arse. And we do see the end of Na'Vi's second round. And now they all want to get the deagle. Yeah, here <laughs> we go. Game, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Broke, he's blocking it. Nope, not on my watch. Maybe on my watch, he does close it. They drop on main. And they oh. get the deagle. Uh -oh. oh. OK, fine. It's fine. Rain's got it under control. Oh no. D triple Jesus deck Christmas. He's gonna hide. <laughs> Help me, boys. Don't peek, please. They need the money. They all want a piece. Eco. Let's see. 3750 on simple. Who's for gonna get dropped an AK? Oh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't need nades. Just shoot gonna him. get a Galil. It is a Galil number, isn't it's it? It's like round where he's gonna ask, do I need nades in this round, Lexi? What do you want from me? He's yeah. waiting. He is waiting. He's still <laughs> waiting. Call. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> Oh, hey. does he swap? Team oh, player. Okay. Respect. Three Galils, two AK-47s. Na'Vi giving it a go. Round three, second half. One round game. Phase looking to tie things up with this one. You met task with Yard Crawl. Simple. Ooh, flashed off deep smoke towards that trophy room. Nice setup uh, phase as well with the boost. Did he deliberately try and make that noise as well? Either way, Rops has dropped off of ramp and is heading elsewhere, leaving that boosted player. 
Here they come. Are they ready for the man on top? Brokey waiting. Delaying. Dodging. Ooh. Weaving. Ah! They're checking. No. Alexi was fouled. Oh, Brokey gets a couple of kills. Drops off for a third. Simple will finally put him down. A three on three out of nowhere. They lose the bomb though. That's the problem. Through the smoke for JL. And well handled by the Canadian. As rain smokes off ramp. Navi now on a recovery mission. Twist is considering how Rob's locking the door behind them. So Lobby's going to be crunched here. As I say that Nation. simple. Go and tee roof. He's, oh, he's looking for this. No way he knows. He is. Is he checking it? Oh, the, oh, no. the awareness. I get it. That's the awareness. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so Who good. does that? Simple does, actually, in answer to my question. Now Twist knows he can't activate too soon because... Oh, they're coming back. They don't even have the bomb and they won't get close. Twist closes it with three. Navi get a little, a little lost in the source there. That was oh, very confusing. I'm just oh, running with running? knife all the way back. Yeah. Like it's, hmm. Well, here, it looked like he was simple was juggling Rops' smoke. Oh, so I guess oh, it's one of those awkward yeah. things where it's like, hey, I, I bring smoke. And like, as yeah. you're focused on that dialogue, you end up getting caught yeah. out by this forward position. Nice timing for twists and phase recover. Really great by Brokey getting two kills. That looked really close to like almost getting nothing out of it, which was would have been really unfortunate. But uh, and he was up. like trying to take that angle really close yeah. up. And as then well. the guy comes underneath. It gets really awkward because then, yeah. But well great. done. Clean from Rain. He loves his yard holds using the A4 nicely. Ooh, Alexi B's gotten away with just four HP. One down. Secret Kerrigan takes down the top side player in JL and. Looks like FaZe are going to have a clean one here. It's Rops just tapping away at the head of Simple. And Alexi B, worse for wear after that spray from Rain. It's Brokey that puts him down. FaZe will take the lead. A 4-0 start to their defense. Get those AKs back out. More uh, finances now. Flush for Na'Vi. They'll get all the nades they desire. Let's see what Alexi B's first gun round call is. Is this where you just go for something kind of more default heavy? Or are you feeling like a, a straight call off of the rip? I think if I was Navi, I'd look to make a, a set round here, to be honest, because I think FaZe are really good at playing against these default type rounds where you just do outside smokes and the rain's really good at playing around them, so I think it'd be good to create some chaos uh, chaos uh, for the for the communication for FaZe. Because of, as, it, as it currently stands, it's just a standard rain yard round. Rops has gone lower, though. He'll be able to contest that. Bitch has lost a lot of his hell, had his bell rung. A forward position for an AWPA. Drawn the line. Holding it. Simple crab walks in to his demise. Same thing happened to me the other day as well against Brokey. Did the exact same move. <laughs> same result. This is what I mean. I think they move around so well and you never know where all the players are. Like, Rops moving around, Brokey shutting down ramp. It's really hard to find the gaps in, in the defense of a phase. I think they said about as well, they like to do this, where they have, like, Rops just in a baby position now, looking at the And Rain always playing super aggressively. Because even if he dies, Rops will, you know, take over and get the kill. So, yeah, oh, it always Brokey seems to make it work. Back. Bomb loose. Brokey wants more and he'll grab it. Barely a leg. JL removed an Ema. Well, he's got lower, but nothing else. Yeah. These are rounds where, like, if if you don't like manage to pull the rotate, I think FaZe is kind of gamble and range information outside that it shouldn't rotate down. And then if they actually are not lower, then the CTs is just in such a better position where, like, they can, you know, have Rops in an insane position in case Rain loses his duel or whatever, and they have broken Ram down his rotating. They're strong inner, so I am. Uh, it's little just useless, you know, the whole round, even though he actually got low and could make them afraid of that, so yeah, really nice play from FaZe, not rotating, not rotating at all there, so that makes a really big difference. And what what, what gives them the confidence to not rotate when you know someone's I think like they're doing the fast smoke here early, so Rain is like really close to the smoke, so he knows that if he doesn't hear anyone step, like I'm I'm pretty sure like if you, if no one is stepping, they cannot make it down like heavy, like three or four guys can make it down. Maybe the first guy can walk before the smoke fades, but that's only, that, like that's it. And then I if there's only one guy, you don't really have to pull the rotation, because if the rest of the guys have to join him, they have to go from either ramp or the vent. So you can just kind of like leave the guy lower, and if he's lower, like just you know, if you just block the other guys, they can't really win and the round. He like has the bomb to plant. open a door or break glass. Yeah, exactly. To be anywhere else. Do you ever yeah. miss that? Do you ever, does that ever get lost? A player coming up from lower, swinging the door, or, or timing the glass. Is that ever a problem? I think Very the rare. best thing sometimes you can do is maybe like if you sandwich ramp, so the guy like 
like shooting the window, rushing up, and the guys on ramp putting pressure, so you can like yeah come from both sides. I think that's like some of the best things you can do. But yeah, it's really hard to like mask the whole thing. To be honest, it's it's not really something people go for anymore. Your windows get broken at yeah, 40 seconds. You know what they're doing. It's messed up sometimes. Ooh, that's a good shot. It's still not looking particularly hot. Ooh. Oh, Robs. Yeah, Robs doesn't knife. <laughs> <laughs> so calm. I think I think we did the same thing to him in practice. Rushed the ramp smoke, and he just here tap tap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that. But I think now it, it come, becomes really hard for Navi going to the next round because, like I said before, with having set rounds and stuff, I think you would have wanted to do it a bit earlier than you would uh, usually do against Phase because now I think they can definitely expect the set rounds coming in because what else is going to work? They can't really go for another default round, so maybe they need to throw them off with some fakes or something as well. Mm. Yeah, of course, because if you suddenly start immediately feeling like there's no, there's not a default this time and there's a barrage, there's Molly Hart, there's Nade off main. Oh, he jumped that one. Oh, He's got him trapped. Simple's low as hell. Flash for his fight, trying to get himself out of dodge, but dead to Rops. Phase, this defense is looking indomitable yeah. right now. You just can't get through. The bank as well. It's going to be hard. The Phase Clan CT side, some lessons to be learned from all of us here yep. on just how perfect this is working out for them. And Rain is such a nuisance in, in, in Yard. Yeah. He has so much, well, dare I say it, confidence in his yard hold that it's yeah, being it's, rewarded. It's really, really nice when they do this because like Rops is a second guy outside having a lurker position and that makes like Rain able to play this aggressive and just take the fights and if he wins those fights it's like great. It's like almost impossible to do anything for the T side. So so yeah, it's, it's a really nice setup what they're doing actually because it just like, kind of like, even if Rain dies and does get the kills, then Rops is still in a really, really good position to like still pull the round back in case that happens. So, and then when it works out and he gets the kills when Rain does that, then it's just like you can't do anything. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, it looks like Inferno could be on the cards if Na'Vi can't find this one with the full buy. Double orb for FaZe as well, jumping on that as soon as they want. Na'Vi will not be expecting that in round 22. Full wall, wide smokes. Rops on ramp as Brokey starts lower, so he'll be able to come up secret very quick. Rain's calling now again, now playing close to his steps again. Doesn't hear any steps, so I don't think they're gonna rush it down. And there's a block again with the Molly, so. Oh! oh nice. That is stunning work from Rain. Takes two down out of the equation of yard one. Can slip through it to Lexi. Oh. Rain's a gamer. We, just as we talk about his yard prowess, he demonstrates with a triple kill. Orps haven't even really been seen. JL, I mean, he's got room, but he doesn't know it. They're double crunching hut. They might find this bomb as it comes back in through T-Spawn right now. Simple's on the roof. Simple is spot. on the roof, and oh. he drops in, but oh. Twist is somehow aware. And JL, sure, timing, position, but even that bomb on the rafter and two players in the lobby. This should be too hot to handle. Twist checks it. JL takes it. Yes, it's so hard for, for Navi to play this game because like if you see as you see face, they just they lean really heavily towards outside and if they just if they go outside, it's just so hard for the T's to do anything and you see like Rain playing really lurky positions and then they have he has other guys to like bait for him. Like you see that in that round, I think he was really sneaky and hit the main guy came out and mollied secret and like spammed the smokes and then Ima ran through the smokes because he thought that was a yard guy and he yeah. would just kill him for free, but then Rain is, you know, hiding lurking behind the shadows and <laughs> behind the smoke, so yeah, it's this really great play. They're just le leaning really heavily towards outside and it's just really paying off because they're not getting abused in us. So that's like the that's that kinda like the chance you have to take sometimes and when that happens it's just so hard to play nuke when they just are two or three guys wherever you go, so He's having such a good time, Rain. This yeah. time he's opted to just tuck in. What do you call this part of Secret? We call it Orange, I okay. think. Yeah. yeah. Orange. orange. Yep. Oh, yeah. There it is, orange guys. Box. It's Orange. <laughs> <laughs> really good position, actually. Yeah, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Especially when you've just had so many more active yard rounds. Now you can just chill your beans. Yeah. And for Na'Vi, running out of rounds. Looks like they do want to do something towards the yard position late here. So Rain's position on orange. I'm stealing that one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get all the information here. If they don't go towards low anything, and that again it makes them not being have to rotate, which makes the whole difference again. They can just stay strong wherever they are and don't have to move. And that orb in Rob's hands is gonna get yeah. uh, a good test this time. 
Loves himself a secondary orb. Good oh, flashbang. Oh, he does tag okay. up a bit. Now they know there's an orb. They want to overrun him. Charging at him. The nade looks good. The deagle, though, on his... Oh! We'll take it. Could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Two and a half. Oh, three. Still an orb given to Na'Vi. They're going to drop down lower. Broke. He's in position. Missed flick. Two snipers face him. And Simple will come out on top. A lurker in the door. Just getting a spot. Carrigan will kill him and drop down the vent. Rain is already here. Simple covering the door. And that will allow for the bomb plot. Na'Vi Ooh. on an eco are making it interesting. Very interesting. No armor on this orb. Recovers it from Rops. He's making it work though. Simple. He's got himself two so far, and he's already ready for that decon fight. Good shots! Oh. It's a Na'Vi round. They get out of the starting gates now. It, it only so took bad. them seven rounds. It feels so bad when you like <laughs> when they get the off out of your hands, and they had like so bad weapons to start with. They get that off, and they just get three kills with it. It, oh, it just it hurts. Yeah. It really hurts. No, you can empathize. Yeah, had one of them yeah. last night. Even no, the, really. the rough got two here. It's like when they get this off. And yeah. it, especially when it comes in the hands of Symbol, it's like... Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so hard. All right, well, that re-inspired Na'Vi, their first T-side round, and Simple picks Brokey through the door. Already off to a riveting start, and the orb gets blown back. Thank you very much. That's yoink. Stylish way to deny it. Rob still has his, though. It's the Rops and Rain Doer, yeah. you know, they Roy's got to be focused again, so. on it now. Yep, this is nice though because I think Na'Vi now obviously taking down the orb, they'd expect a bit more space outside I guess with the orb not there or taking as many peaks, but Rops is in a good rotation outside. But Ooh. Oh! Yeah. That's, it. That's retro here, Matt. That's what I mean, I think Imma wasn't expecting actually uh, an orb there because yeah. uh, they've killed him, but that's why he's, he's, swinging, he's swinging before the smoke's blow. Because if he, if he gets a duel or sees anyone, it's usually he thinks it's an M4, so it's a nice fight. There's no way Twist and Carrigan can do anything from this position. Oh, Molly You're mollied there. off. And they invested in a double up yet again in this round, so it's really going to hurt the economy. I think they have almost nothing left as well after this round, so... Could Swing be really important round. if they save, yep. Yeah. And that will be it Bit with a double and somehow makes them both headshots. I don't know how he does it. He sprays into headshots every time. <laughs> Na'Vi back-to-back rounds off of a silent T-side. Seven in a row. And then Na'Vi break the mold. I don't know how people do it, man. My mollies look different to theirs or something. People are shooting through these flames. What's the secret, the man? The video settings. I know, but why are we not? Why, tell me the video settings. Whose DMs do I have to be in to know the secret of looking through Molotovs? Mr. Byron, you got the secrets? You I don't it? know, man. Are <laughs> simple. Okay. Oh, he there can he see is. everything. That was back garage to Carrigan. We have a shotgun on Brokey. It's one of the available options. And Navi, they look confident. They're taking a lot of duels. They're getting a lot of dry fights. Simple opening picks and back-to-back -back rounds. Yeah, it's a very different game. Talking about settings, back in my pro mod days, right? There was a NVIDIA graphics setting called Ambient Occlusion. Mm. You could straight up see through smokes. Ooh. <laughs> like, how ridiculous was that? We had to take screenshots of our smoke grenades before every official. Really? You had to throw Didn't a smoke, open it? up the scoreboard, and take a screenshot. But then you just change it off. Yeah, then you change it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. And they did. They definitely did. Shout out to Leeski, you smoky rat. <laughs> Shotgun could do something. It's broken, taking some off the Ooh, notes. I love yeah. it. I hate it. Nice I hate player. it. And now oh, these four boys from FaZe just with that half bite. And that's the round. Yeah. Ow. I would definitely love to see FaZe try and save the guns last round. Like, going into this round, they just have nothing, so it makes it very easy for Navi to just win the round cleanly. Compared to the Anubis last, like the game before, when Navi was saving constantly, always had one or two guns in the round, and it just, you know, it really makes a big difference for the round again, because these hero weapons, they can really make a big difference. Who, are there any teams right now you feel like are playing the economy the best? Like, uh, really have their finger to the pulse? Obviously, Virtus Pro always yeah, obviously. in that conversation, the, but is there anyone else there that's gone? Uh, I think we trying to do a yeah, good job yeah. of it. <laughs> we're definitely trying our best to like get to that point a little bit. Uh, of course, it's always a hard balance, because 
obviously it's gonna make you not go for some rounds where you maybe you could have won the round, right? Like there's definitely some like in this tournament as well we played a round where I think it was a nuke where I instantly called the save in the three v five and then I think uh, Chris is like ah just you know he's, he wants to like try a little bit and then I think we end up like they have no time and they plant the bomb and we kill the bomb plant and we win the round. So like obviously you lose the chance of actually pulling those hero rounds back uh, by saving. So but then again you have a better chance in the next round. So it's a little bit of a balance and like trying to figure out you know what makes sense and what yeah. So Do you think there could be a word for like? Uh I think when we were casting, I've heard Chad would describe it as like putting their rod in the water. Like, you know, you're kind of quote unquote playing position for exits, but you're close enough that if any of them come at early enough, you can still Yeah, 100%. Flow. Yeah, you definitely do that. Like, you. Like, it's like you're hedging yeah. your bets. Yeah, that's that's kind of like what we, we, we try to talk, like, talk about a lot and like think about a lot. It's like, okay, what. How's our, how does our money look? Like, should we go for, for kills? Should we make it expensive for them? Should we go for the round? Should right. we, like, you know. And all being that able kind to of make things. that choice of, yeah. quickly. It's very hard, and uh, you have to think about a lot. And of course, it's it's going to cost you sometimes. But I mean, we we're definitely trying. But I think the Virtus Pro is like some of the best teams in the world at it right now. So yeah, sometimes it also hurts them, you know, by doing it too much. And it's always a hard balance, you know. But VP they do. will they, be here next week. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. uh, and they do always seem to find thirty rounds. You know, <laughs> it's yeah. very rare that they see a, a, a one-sided affair either way. I hate yeah. the Because they always have some weapons. They always have some op, and you just have to play it so different compared to like a full eco. So. What's this? Third round in a row. Simple's oh. found an opener. His opener was disgusting as well. Peeking Brokey in hut with the orb. Ate a leg shot. Lived to tell the tale. Carrigan's put that orb to use, and Rain finding this lurk could be everything. So much but damage. Ema continues to kill outside. Carrigan patience pays, and two on three. Phase. Well, they have the lower side now. Yeah. The bomb. Been a really rough uh, couple rounds for Brokey at least, and I think he's been trying to make the the, the difference in in phase and the uh, defense, but. I mean, simple. Just been reading it each time. Peaking main, peaking hurt. It's just been pretty unfortunate. But I think I think Faze just don't need to do too much. To be honest, I think they showed pretty early on. Just waiting is uh, the the good thing and just covering all the gaps. I'm shocked that again they're going, going for this. For, yeah, going the two v three. They walk the orp in. Short twist trades, and they won't kill though. He's got to find the shot to connect, and he's running out of time. In fact, it seems impossible. Ima has the door shut on him. And Twist, he'll live in this position, but they may as well hunt him. They know where he is, and they've got the bomb to worry about as well. Twist takes one more. Might even get the op now, I think. Yeah. He knows oh. he's going to Oh, nice. okay. Well, yeah. he makes the most of it. Yep, that's pretty good. Now but, they to play against safe dop instead of uh, five USP, so. But again, where does Brokey go, right? He's yeah. tried a lot of different openings. None of them coming up. Four phase. Yeah. Simples. Three picks. Three five and fours. Three rounds in a row. I just looked through it. Yeah. The last four rounds, Door. Brokey's died to Simple three and bit once, but he's been the opening death for those against Simple. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Pick door. Pick silo. Picked hut. Go ramp. Watch Simple go there next. Um, we'll find <laughs> out. Round 27. He's not opening, though. No. Yeah. It's. So still a conversation. Actually, interesting. Look at that by Imet. Deliberate like, Mac 10. So that's an interesting one, considering there is not a single helmet for phase. They've got a perfect understanding of their advantage. The final. Definitely upper think rush. we would have seen Brokey play a bit more defensive in this round if it wasn't if it wasn't like a kind of a scrappy buy. But he ha he has to do something now. So like he can't really sit back and not do anything. He has to like kind of like win the round, even though it hasn't felt good for him so he far. You know. Spawned. Oh my yeah. God, he's gonna get run out by Mac oh. 10s. This could be awkward. Nice, nice find. Down goes him. Oh. Missed shot. Not a second opportunity as three come through for Na'Vi. That's the worst. You know that call's coming as well. Phase full stack A. Eh? They put the orb backside. He didn't even go for an aggressive hut peak. He just played backside. And Na'Vi find three for one. Brokey could have got a second shot off, but... That was insane. I didn't see where the molly come from. It seemed like the fastest yeah, side backside. of molly. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. That, that was backside never... as he got there. Oh, simple, yeah, si ah, simple! Oh. <laughs> he could have changed his mind at any point. He's feeling it now. Yeah, here we go. And Rops will try and save, but they absolutely should hunt this kill. They have him right where they want him. And Na'Vi, they go down seven rounds lost in a row on this T side. And now that's five straight for Nartus Vincia. Playoffs, quarterfinals await in just two rounds. Damn. I mean, it really looked like FaZe has had, had the answer for on the CT side, but it's just changed hands so rapidly.
And now, yeah, a run of five of Na'Vi's own. Two away from taking it in two. Are they doing it again? Another Mac-10 on the spawn. No helmets. I mean, they're, they're bang on. Prioritizing other yep, things yep. are phase. Same again, again. Oh, the molly cancels. Here we get a smoke on it. They will go anyway. Door pop first. Uh -oh. Bit hits the head. And Rain sprays away. There's no smoke in main. He's got open season. He gets caught on the angle. And Alexi finds that crucial kill to knock FaZe out. It's only Brokey. He's got room up in the smoke. But they are backside safe on the plant. Brokey might just have to save. Tough. They win four guys there almost instantly. So it's like they're doing the right thing. But they just you need to get the kills as well, right? So... Yeah, it does always always boil down to that, doesn't it? Does yeah, that's why it must feel like super bad. Like they, they probably like look like they were expecting like some kind of the same, and they have four guys instantly there to help, which usually should be a pretty nice for the CTs. But even the yacht guy coming main and no main smoke that feels really good for Rain. But you even get two kills, but it's not enough. It uh, stings. Yeah, right. And, and that duel on the hut player as well, Imer managing to get away with murder. Yeah. What's your guys' plan now, though? We're entering week four of Pro League. We've got playoffs in two weeks. Go home, chill out, get ready for playoffs. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Go yeah. home, practice, <laughs> get back on the grind. <laughs> um, yeah, and then come back, hopefully, iron out some of the mistakes that we had some from from these uh, games we played in the group stage. But, uh, yeah. yeah, just pretty much just it's really nice to work in. really nice when you come home and have a few days to, like... Mm. And you have some games to look back on and like think about and talk about. It's always like really nice compared to like having a long like period of practice days. It's kind of hard to like talk about something direct. Where now you actually you, you know, got try to yeah, right. yeah especially so new in game leader, new upper, yeah. new fanatic, and new goals. Bit. But playoffs are right there, and Navi are running to it. This is awkward for Phase. It's about to end. Oh, it's over. Just like that, simple catches the swing out of Brokey, and Phase have floundered here as a run of seven consecutive rounds to secure the 2-0 for that quarterfinal spot. Your group C. This. It's just they're so scared of Inner now because they just won two rounds and then they just played really fast outside and Rain is all there alone and he even started main because he was, you know, really just helping Inner and then he's all alone and gets caught. And yeah, that's, it's, it's really like, the, if you can get the CTs to play scared of Inner, then that's what you really need to go for as playing ST because as soon as the CTs are scared of Inner, they'll like lean more towards there and then it opens up the whole map and uh, yeah, definitely what happened here. Or well, not. Phase. I've seen Rops in these. <laughs> you believe in? I'm not. <laughs> Neither in RV. 16 to 13, they slap them back on the T side. What a game, what a series, what a performance from Na'Vi, looking better and better here in Pro. so happy as well, played full smile on as well. Not every day you see that. Yeah, that's, that's great to see. Alexia as well, super happy. Well, nice. you've got to be, right? You were just admiring that T-side, some of the calls, yeah. you know, conditioning.